of South Africa. Make sure that South Africa, you are counted with me. Run South Africa. Stand and make sure that our people understand that the need to be revolution in South Africa is guaranteed that under the EFF, this country will be the better. EFF is a tobat thing. Congratulations to you, leadership uh, Mapolo and the leadership collective. Uh, you have been appointed as the chairperson of EFF in Limpopo. Um, congratulations are in order. Thank you very much. I'm humbled by the appointment and I hope uh, we we'll lead this big organization mm -hmm. with dignity it deserves. Mm -hmm. And uh, just this week on Wednesday, the president of South Africa has been sworn in uh, by Chief uh, Justice Raymond Zondo at the Union Building, Cyril Ramaphosa. Uh, he's coming back for the second term, if I'm not mistaken. What's your take on his inauguration? No, you see, let me start by saying Cyril, from his background, was never a revolutionary. And I think the second term mm -hmm. that he will be getting into is the final nail on the ANC. He was sent to kill the ANC. Mm. And uh, currently he's looking to kill any other revolutionary movement in the country. He has done, uh, they are uh, going to give him uh, what we call in my own language, but a petayata, or you have worked. Yeah, you have delivered by selling out. By selling out. I see nothing, I just see a government of national U-turn, and that is all. And uh, our people are still going to suffer. Our people doesn't listen. The EFF president have said it many times mm -hmm. that people don't listen. And now the coming term, it's, it's, it is bad. The monopoly capital will be playing with the minds and heart of our people. Mm -hmm. And uh, really we feel so, I'm, I'm saddened because the, 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 the liberation that was waged by Solomon Matlang, mm -hmm and many who died in the line of duty to fight for this yeah. country, for the land. Unfortunately, really, mm -hmm. their families are still crying mm -hmm. to say we, they fought for nothing mm -hmm. and because of Cyril Ramaphosa. Mm -hmm. In fact, all the revolution, revolutionaries and freedom fighters might be turning in their graves now saying this so-called GNU, which seeks to reverse all the gains of uh, the hard-fought democracy. Fortunately enough, we are still alive, the majority of us. Mm -hmm. We know where we are coming from. Yeah. You know, you look at so you're uh, one of those who will be spitting yeah, in the no, graves of see, this sellout. <laughs> this, they're a sellout, to be honest. We have seen yeah. them when they came in yeah. to the movement of the ANC, and uh, we realized that this movement is going to die very fast. Mm. And uh, there are many, it's not only one, yeah. They've been deployed by Monopoly Capital, they've been trained by the Monopoly Capital. You know, they, they are very eloquent in terms of presentation of issues, you know, they've been trained to kill this uh, liberation movement, the ANC. The ANC will never be the same again, starting from now. Mm -hmm. Believe me, come next election, those that are still there, they're wasting their time. Mm -hmm. Their home is in the EFF. Yeah. They must never panic. We are yeah. here waiting for them, especially those that are in the poop. Others, they've been calling me, to be honest. They see that this thing is dying. Real revolutionaries, they understand the strategy and tactics and the motive forces of the left. What is their duty? What was supposed the ANC to be doing currently? Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, those uh, the forces of the left have been uh, left stranded in the wild by the ANC. Mm -hmm. You know, if Kusatu they were real, they were supposed just to move out of the alliance with the ANC mm -hmm. and look for the party which pushes the, you know, the the demands and the aspiration of the workers. That's the only one. That's the EFF and. Uh, you know, I don't know as to whether I can call it uh, greed or uh, not to be mm -hmm. wanting to be led, mm -hmm. but that's nothing. Yeah. If they can come to the movement, the EFF, we'll join hands and we'll work together very well mm -hmm. than the, the sellout of the ANC. Mm -hmm. Remember, you know, today we are seated here. Uh, 
those workers in the house, when they march, I don't know what they are marching for. Because the previous years, they never even received a cent, an increment. Mm. Today, when we go to parliament, yeah, now, uh, the salary of us have increased uh, uh, the, the salaries of mm -hmm. those that are in government. Yeah. Uh, now, what about They're obsessed friends? with the packs. Uh, yeah, they are nice now, mm -hmm. uh, including ourselves. Mm -hmm. But uh, we can't encourage that. The reason why the EFF was saying we must do away with these provinces. We are wasting money. Mm -hmm. Yes, and uh, I think the current situation in the country present it's it's shocking, and nobody will uh, will realize up until Ramaphosa move out of South Africa could go and stay in London. He's saving a physical address in London yeah. when things are bad. Already Rupert and the others, their children are not staying here. Mm -hmm. They they're offshore because they don't belong here. Now, therefore, I think even their child will follow them when things are going to be bad. Mm -hmm. Because things are going to be bad. It's them who pushes the situation to be like that because they want to steal more. Yeah. Because they know during the wars and civil wars, yeah. they've got a capacity to steal mm -hmm. more. Mm -hmm. Now, we must avoid it. As the EFF, the reason you learned how the president was presenting our way forward, to say we must be seen as people who think uh, for the people, not to put our or plug our our country into chaos. Mm -hmm. We are going to act in a very responsible manner. Yeah. Because that is the only hope of our people, the EFF. So you reckon on even the tripartite alliance is uh, complacent in no, the selling out process, you can't even speak the working of class. South African Communist Party. Yeah. You know, you look at their caps. This side is Communist Party, this side is ANC. Yeah. It tells you that even their minds is divided. Mm -hmm. They don't know where they are going. There's no Communist Party in the ANC. Yeah. They're just a bunch of uh, thugs and uh, those that are looking for work. That's nothing that they want. Now, that's nothing that they want. Now, you see, I was telling people that mm -hmm. take it from us. We worked more than 40, 30 something years working in the ANC, 40 years plus as an activist. Mm -hmm. You are not going to tell us that we don't yeah. know anything about the politics of mm -hmm. South Africa. The mm -hmm. ANC is finished, as I speak right now. Getting into bed with those monopoly capital. Remember that even at the beginning of the talks in 1980s, the talks about talks, the base of those talks about talks is not politicians. Mm. There were big five companies here who went to Lusaka. I never heard one day saying Kuranov, Buota during that time went to Lusaka. Uwar Tambo met with business people. Mm -hmm. And when Uwar Tambo is meeting with those pe uh, business people, his lieutenant, they're looking at the backs of those people because they are rich, mm -hmm. they are millionaires. Mm -hmm. When the meeting closed, the poor old man, he thinks that he has said something, substance. Those that were following him, they opened the backs of those rich people. There's no revolution. Mm -hmm. Now we have been bought. These freedom that we are enjoying today have been bought by monopoly capital. We are not enjoying something that emerges from political engagement with the enemy mm -hmm. of the past. The enemy of the past was the politicians, was not these Oppenheimers who are currently leading this country mm -hmm. through Ramaphosa. Yeah, you're talking about Thagari, and we understand that in 1913, the majority of the black population were dispossessed of their land. And uh, just this week, uh, it marked 111 years of land uh, disposition. And you find the situation where the ANC is still in bed with the DA, which hold a different ideology, by the way, that uh, does not support, for an example, land expropriation without uh, a compensation. This must be uh, shameful. My heart goes to all the chiefs, the kings, the queens mm -hmm. of our country. Remember... The kings and queens and chiefs of our country, some of their heads are still lying in London in their museums. They don't like to bring those heads back. Mm. Because for them, it's something, it's a victory to say they've taken the land. Mm -hmm. Now, therefore, I think the ANC must think deeply. When I speak about the heads of our kings and chiefs, they were not just, you know, unplugged. They were mm -hmm. cut with a sword. Mm. They were taken offshore to London to stay in their, in their museums. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to think about this 111 years as to where they're sleeping 
in the minds of those that are leading the NC. Mm. I'm saying it openly here. We are led by thugs. We are led by opportunistic element who are brought by monopoly capital. We have Nothing. lost their political consciousness. It's long gone. Mm -hmm. It's long gone. Yeah. From 1980s, 1989, yeah. it started to fade away. During 1996, class project they started to take a play in the movement. There's no more ANC people. Mm -hmm. They're wasting your time. Join the forces with the EFF. That's mm -hmm. the only hope of people of South Africa. Yeah. Yeah, the, the newly elected uh, premier, the first female premier of Limpopo, Dr. Popira Matuba, has assembled a team of uh, her executive, uh, the members of the executive council, and uh, who are expected to lead the province of Limpopo. Do you have any confidence at all in the new well, executive? You know, I'm always referring to my own language, uh, idiomatic expressions. Mm -hmm. You see, while Loma Gisulana is trying out like Chavale Mogoko Lodi. Once bitten, yeah. once shy. Once shy, sure. Now, let's let's look. I, it's not me, but let's look at the track record of the one who's becoming the premier today. Go to hospitals, go to clinics, mm. look inside those clinics, look at the staff component as to whether it's safe or not. It's not me. It's the people of Limpopo who are worried about the clinics, the facilities in hospitals, no medication. Just recently, yesterday, uh, you know, that department killed a young child. That child, she's still alive or still alive. But they went out to the family of that young child and say, your child is dead. Mm. And later on, they come back, no, your child is not dead. Eva. I, I, it's not me. Mm. I'm not trying to paint uh, Dr. Rama, uh, uh, Ramatuba or whatever yeah. in a bad pain. No, no. Those are things that is just a tip of an iceberg. Now, remember how many families have been told that their children or their kids or their infants has died. No ethical behavior, no moral Traumatic compass. situation that the family find itself mm -hmm. in. Eh? Tell me. that was, she, She's migrating rubbish into the premier's office mm. because he failed to clean that rubbish in the Department of Health. Now, because she didn't finish, she's carrying a baggage yeah. to that office. And again, she's surrounded. She's surrounded by men. Mm. One man is just a heel in that morning. He can't move. He's still issuing out orders. Mm. The reason, you see, I'm saying, hey, these guys of the ANC, you'll see them. They're not going to govern. Never. They'll be locked up in their squabbles and cabal politics. You can look at their deployment. It doesn't appease anybody. Mm. You look, you know, most of the department, like public works department, you must give it to a man, real man who can understand and a visionary leader. Now, you see, I don't say people are young. Mm -hmm. They're young in terms of thinking. You can be a young boy of 15 years, but with a mind of 50 years, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But now I've seen a young man with a, a, a mind of a toddler. Now, I don't think we're going to be led. I, I don't believe that. And uh, yeah. I don't, you know, prophesy that they must mislead the, the mm -hmm. people of Limpopo, but I'm praying for them yeah. just to have a Holy Spirit mm -hmm. and lead accordingly mm -hmm. because what we need is land. What we need yeah. is flight Absolutely. to islets. Absolutely. What we need, we need 24 hours yeah. uh, clinic services. We need uh, our nurses to be safe in those clinics. We need to make sure that they don't interfere sure. in the issues of Magoshi, yeah. especially during this time when uh, young men and women are going to the mountains. Mm -hmm. They must never interfere. I've seen them interfering in that area where I think uh, manhood should, uh, a man should go through mm -hmm. manhood. Unfortunately, they're interfering. Mm -hmm. The department cooks that must leave yeah. that space for the chiefs mm -hmm. and our our doctors yeah. and, and the, the Department of Health. Yeah, absolutely. And the good news is that the EFF is the official opposition in Limpopo. And definitely with your leadership, I hope that you're going to hold them into account and to ensure that there is progress in that part of the country. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for tuning in. My name is Titus 
Tsungu Erkozera Msengo Natsualeka. We're coming to you from Winima Digizela Mandela House. Today I'm joined by the Limpopo <coughs> Provincial Chairperson Commissar Lorez Mapolo is here with me. A very good morning to you and welcome to the EFF podcast. No, good day and thank you very much for all the fighters out there mm -hmm. and all those that are aspiring to come and join the EFF. Yeah. The gates are open, double doors are open, mm -hmm. come in your numbers, the president needs you. Mm -hmm. And he loves you. Yeah. And I see in your face the enthusiasm to serve the people of Limpopo. And the people of Limpopo are waiting to hear what is the plan of action uh, going forward. But now let's start here, uh, Mr. Mapolo, Commissar Mapolo. You have recently been appointed as the chairperson to steer the ship of uh, EFF uh, Limpopo together with the leadership uh, collective. Uh, congratulations to you once more. How do you feel about this um, appointment? One is really humbled mm -hmm. by the leadership of the, of the movement by appointing me together with the collective because why I'm humbled because of the ideas of these organizations. Mm -hmm. The ideas of this organization are the only ideas that really uh, give direction of where will we take the offense, the widows, and the downtrodden of South African people mm -hmm. and Africa in general. The reason why, indeed, I'm humbled is that I'm led, and I'm led by the leadership with clarity. Mm. Thanks. No, congratulations once Thanks. again. And uh, perhaps let's just reflect on your uh, childhood. People are wondering uh, where do you come from, what kind of uh, upbringing uh, you have had, and uh, who actually raised this sharp uh, politician called uh, Lawrence Mapolo. Uh, <laughs> it's quite interesting. You take yeah. me back to 63 years. Mm -hmm. uh, indeed, I'm born in an area called Bloberg, okay. I'm Malibor. Okay. Uh, it's about 140 something cases. It's in the Capricorn Bloberg. District, right? It's in the Capricorn yeah. District mm -hmm. municipality. Mm -hmm. And I was born uh, by a man and a woman okay. who believed in, uh, in God. My father, the late father, and my late mom were very much, uh, you know, in yeah. indebted in Christianity. May their souls rest in peace. And, uh, yeah. Indeed, let them so rest in peace. And now, during my upbringing, I was uh, the third boy in the family. Yeah. My firstborn brother is late now. But uh, the way I was raised, I was raised from a very poor family. Mm. Uh, my my father was working as a laborer, and my mom, she was from Botswana. Unfortunately, she was not allowed to work in the country. If you can see in the on, apartheid days, in the apartheid days, mm -hmm. yeah, my mom spent nearly the rest of her life not working and not allowed to work in South Africa mm. because she was not allowed to carry that dumb parts mm -hmm. in the past. That. that generated uh, low life in the family. And indeed, we started to understand after my mom, she was denied even work. When we, we moved from Ramalabo, we came to the township in 1965. Mm -hmm. I think around 11 February is when we came to the township of Seseo. But before I came to Seseo, I was still young at the age of four. And uh, I wanted to go to school during that time. Okay. The reason was that my big brother, late brother, was always when coming back from school, say, yeah. we enjoy a uh, soup soup at school. Okay. And, and Sishiro, uh, by the way, is one <coughs> of the no, largest not, towns. Yeah, in, in, but in by that time, we have <laughs> not yet uh, went to Sishiro. Oh, okay. We're still at the village of Malibu. Malibu, yeah. In now, Blubber. at the age yeah. of four. Mm -hmm. My brother was always enticing me. Mm. He was nice at school. Okay. Then I started to follow them. One day I said, when they go out, my mom, she didn't, she was busy with her singer machine. Mm -hmm. I followed them. Mm -hmm. I followed them when they get into the old classes. I thought sometime immediately when they get to school, they give them soup soup. Sure. Now they oh. go to classes. <laughs> First. <laughs> First. Now I'm waiting, I'm looking yeah. around. Where do I go now? <laughs> 
the, the principal of school was seeing a short young man moving around. What's happening? Mm -hmm. What do you want here? I said, I wanted to go to the <laughs> class. He said, no, you go home. Hey. I, I, must, I'm, I was the, it was the first time when I started to throw, to throw stones. Mm -hmm. I throw stones at him up until they catch me, take me back home. Yeah. And I explain why I wanted to go to school. It's because of that soup soup. Oh. Yeah, because at home it was not there. Yeah. And the only opportunity for me to get that soup is mm -hmm. to go to school. Okay. Now we, we went to Seoul. In 1969 now, what attracted me now? Mm -hmm. at that, I was still young, at the age of 10. Remember, in 1969, when uh, uh, the Bantu Stan were created, mm -hmm. It was Patudis, it was Mangopes, it was Tsangwises, it was Teles, Tosos, and others. Mm -hmm. By that time, my mom, she didn't even get that ID or don't pass. Now, when they went to celebrate the inauguration of the prime ministers, mm -hmm. my mom didn't like to go there. Mm -hmm. Only my father went. Mm -hmm. And uh, my mom explained why she can't go there. Okay. Because we are struggling at home. She can't work for me and get me nice things mm. because of this government. Mm. And I started to hate. You know, I started to hate what was happening during that time. Mm -hmm. I grew at a at the age of uh, 16, 15, sorry, when we went to Mutagane. I was we were still young at that time, 1976. Mm -hmm. But we, it's us who instigated that uh, there must be a riot in Mutagane. Mm. How did it happen? Because we were very much inspired. So while in, there were riots in here in Soweto, in Soweto. even Sishiko as well was plugging in. in. Yeah, you mm -hmm. know how it plugged in? Mm -hmm. We were reading the newspaper called The World. Oh. Renaga Bantu Educator, get the world. Yeah, the world. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Then, you know, <laughs> when it was read on the 16th in Soweto, mm -hmm. uh, it will come to the on the 17th, the following day. Mm. Then after reading that newspaper, we went out okay. to the school and started to do what we we have done during that time. Mm -hmm. We banned uh, some of the classrooms and all that. Fortunate enough, mm. I was not arrested. The one who was arrested is because he was light in complexion. Okay. He was like me. Yeah. And uh, they arrested the son of a policeman. Okay. And uh, I was made that, that favor was done through my father. Mm -hmm. To say we are not going to arrest, we arrest that one the son of a big policeman in the station. Mm -hmm. And even today, still alive, he still reminds me of that mm -hmm. part. Mm -hmm. Those are things that attracted me, especially yeah. my mom, mm -hmm. to say, we are not going to entertain anything coming from this government. Mm. And even today, I'm still there. I'll live like that to say... Well, were you also against the Africans as the medium of instruction? Yeah, during oh. that time. Oh. Where Fevesken, uh, you know, it uh, the and the Janis, the... Yeah. That was in Africa, mathematics in Africa, and that's mm -hmm. the It was tough. Mm -hmm. and, and by the way, you were forced to learn Africans. <laughs> we were forced to learn Africans yeah. in, in any way. There mm -hmm. was no, no nothing you can do. And uh, I think, uh, above all, you know, my political life started to grow when I went to a Tibet college. Mm -hmm. Then I was uh, the senior student, you know, senior prefect. I was appointed to be the prefect. And uh, by that time, where the BSCs were believing in uh, BCM, mm -hmm. the, the Azap home, Biko mentality, mm -hmm. black consciousness, consciousness yeah. were clued to that by that time. And uh, I led the, the school mm -hmm. uh, in making sure that our domestic areas are well and everything. Mm -hmm. I was fired at the end of the day from that school, but after I've completed my my course, and they fired me to say they don't like to see me there. Up until I came back and worked to the company that took me to school. Unfortunately, I didn't work long with it because of my beliefs. Mm -hmm. uh, this thing of calling people bus and all that, I was forced to call people bus, and I didn't like to do that. Yeah. Because you, you know, view that as ex uh, uh, yeah. oppression. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it started in Rosebank. Mm -hmm. I was sad because when I was in Rosebank, when the police came asking for pass. Mm -hmm. uh, they won't ask me because of the color of my skin. Mm -hmm. They thought I'm a colored. Mm -hmm. You see, and uh, now those things started to show me that man, the life in South Africa is not good. Yeah. And my same brother that I'm working with, 
He'd been arrested because he didn't pay in his in Rosebank. I pass and go home. Yeah. And it, it tells you a story about this things in the farm. Now every time those <laughs> things when they come to yeah. my mind, they propel me to continue mm -hmm. to be against the white man. Uh, by then indeed I was I know I didn't like the white man. I mm -hmm. need to say it clear. Uh, but today, yes, because of the men who are not liberal, but who are clear and in understanding that this land doesn't belong to a white man. Mm -hmm. Those are whites that I like who speak the truth. That's the voice of reason among the white community that we must respect. Those that they know that their fathers have raped their mothers in 1918. Those are horrible things that happened. In Cockstad, women were put in a, in a prison and they were not guarded by women. They were guarded by long young men of Afrikaners speaking and they were molesting, raping our mothers in those uh, a prison. The reason why it's tough for us to go back and say we can even uh, say sorry. Yes, as people who believe in God, we can say sorry, but God, we can't forget. The reason why even when Ramaphosa drag our people to go in bed with the brooder bond, we really we get angry because we know where we are coming from. We know how our people have suffered. People have been killed in Uspray, in the farms of Uspray. Many people were never buried. Mm -hmm. They were eaten by lions. Mm. But we, we, we seem to forget where we're coming from. We don't say as the EFF we hate white people, but this white supremacy must come to an end. And I think uh, if we are not careful, uh, this Ramaphosa is not a, a black person. Yeah, man. I know really he can be black in terms of when yeah. you look at him. But you can hear. He's a black man he's trapped stringing, in white skin. He's stringing, <laughs> even, he's stringing, very string, <laughs> stringing like more than even my 2000. <laughs> if you can hear singers speaking English, yeah. ah, you know, right. You'll be lost. <laughs> You'll be lost. Yeah. He speaks English more than anybody. And he, <laughs> now, that man really is taking this country to a dustbin. Mm. And uh, if people are not going to be alive come 2026, the EFF must go to the ground and make sure that it salvages the people of yeah. South Africa. Yeah, and, and perhaps let's just look at your, your political journey, uh, your political consciousness. Uh, you were part of the ANC. You held uh, various uh, positions of power in the ANC. But when you look at the ANC then and now, what conclusions uh, would you make and uh, what drew you, in fact, into the politics of the ANC at the time? Uh, as young as uh, we, we were during that time, every young man in South Africa, really, it was just automatic to belong to a struggle. Mm -hmm. It was not so easy for you to be recruited mm -hmm. because of the material conditions which are prevailing. Mm -hmm. they forced maybe you. the name was so fascinating, African. You thought maybe it's representing African. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sure. But we joined this movement and were given responsibilities. Mm -hmm. Myself, I've been there the chairperson of the region for three times. And I became the mayor at the age of 32, the first black mayor. And uh, later I became, in 2010, I became the executive mayor of Capricorn. And uh, I think my footprints are clear. I'm still alive. I can look at them and smile. During my term as chairperson of the region, they will tell you always there will be activities, no political lull in my, in my leadership to be honest with you. And uh, when you go to the municipalities, <clears throat> my administration style is very clear. You must attract competent and qualified people who will be able to deliver and also make sure that uh, corruption must never have any place. In all the municipalities that I served, I've never received anything less than qualified, mm -hmm. unqualified clean audit yeah. until I left. I've left uh, the footprints which everyone can fit into uh, as a leader myself. I've, I, I'm not proud of myself. Mm -hmm. They're there if you need to go and check. Mm -hmm. Everything is still there. I'm still alive to come and be accountable yeah. for anything. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that is the Pulukwani municipality and That's the Capricorn Pulukwani district municipality. And Capricorn, yep. Both the local and the district. Mm -hmm. yep. Meaning so, I've been uh, traveling, ascending very well. Mm -hmm. I didn't jump to yeah. the province. I started local, district, now we are at the level of the legislature. Do you have any regrets ever joining the ANC? Yes, I would say because, you see, look, we speak about the people because the ANC was leading the people. 
I'm very sorry. Sit at here. Because the things that we promised our people to date, nothing. The only thing that I see is the number of men in South Africa who are hobos. Is the number of young men and women who are addicted to drugs and abusing alcohol. Um, when, when I look at the women of South Africa, I see depressed women of South Africa. And why I don't have any reason mm -hmm. to cherish the moment when I joined the ANC. Because when I joined the ANC, I was expecting that the men of South Africa will be like the real men who are said by God in the Bible to say this will be the heads of the family. But the ANC have reduced the men of South Africa into hobos. The, South Af the ANC have reduced the youth of South Africa as drunkard. The youth at uh, the ANC government have reduced women of South Africa into depressed women. Mm -hmm. Now, therefore, I don't have any reason to jubilate and say, hey, there's nothing. People have died with depression, inclusive of those that have led the same organization. They're depressed because of the kind of leadership in office. You see, all the things started to deviate from 2011. Mm -hmm. when, when the president of the EFF was fired, he was fired because of the same preaching and the, what he's advocating currently. In the ANC, have done that. Mm. Together with the Negos Floyd, the, the, the president, they were fired because of that. And they were saving the ANC. If the ANC by then did listen to the young lions in 2011 through the leadership of the president Malema, they were going to save South Africa. The ANC was going to be saved by then, not now. Now is dead. We can No one can save it. Even the monopoly capital, they want it dead. That's what Helen Zill want. Those that are in the ANC, they know that Helen Zill, if you meet with her, you're dead. This is not nationalist party. It's not the earlier floor crossing arrangement. No, this time we are burying the ANC. That's what the monopoly capitalists say. Mm. And I think people must start to smell the coffee and study the politics of, of, of the country and choose and align themselves properly. Because if they're not going to align them properly now, we're going back yeah. to the bad days. Mm -hmm. yeah. You talked about... Uh, Growing up in Blochberg and later on um, living in Sishiro. Sishiro, we know that's where the CIC and president of the EFF, Julius Malema, comes from. How do you relate to him uh, and how did you come to know of him and how can you describe your relationship with him? Like I said, you know, mm -hmm. as a young man in the village, in the township, mm -hmm. we are driven by the material condition to be become a struggle hero. You know, how I met uh, the president, I was an organizer of the ANC. Every time when I moved my uh, bikey of the movement out of the yard, I'll find a, a group of young men waiting for me. Okay. And always he will be there. Always without fade, he will be there. Hi. Now life goes on. I was saving the late Willie, who was always uh, uh, being on the front seat. Mm -hmm. And now the president, young as he was, he was always watching him going front seat, going front seat. Mm -hmm. He started to say, hey, this man can always be at the front seat, man. Mm -hmm. Even ourselves must be part of that. <laughs> now, he, 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 posted, he said something so that Willie can get angry, the late. Mm -hmm. He said, hey, I'm telling you, I'm a missus. Always <laughs> dumb, dumb, dumb. <laughs> yeah. That one cried. Yeah. Because they wanted to be part of uh, the mm -hmm. leadership in front. But I'm speaking about somebody who, uh, when we were going out, you know, unfortunately, I'll say it, uh, I don't know, it was a punishment or what <laughs> is a form of uh, making them to be disciplined. Yeah. You know, when leadership speaks, they must stand attention. Okay. Either I speak three hours, mm. they will stay like that. Must be militant. That's that is what he was taught, mm -hmm. and I started to see that thing, the discipline, the everything, in my president now, mm -hmm. to say indeed, 
abo Peter Bobkaba, abo Mama Wini, abo Castle Matale, abo Mapulo, and the rest have grown it real leader. Now that's when I met him at a young age, the age of nine. Mm. I didn't meet him today, and I started to see leader. You know, the ANC when they disbanded the youth league, they said he must never be appointed or be nominated. Because by then I was still the chairperson of the ANC. I said, no, you're going to nominate him. I was going against the grains of the leadership. And we, he was part of the PEC. <laughs> Later on, we were disbanded because of those things. Mm -hmm. But we never lost touch with him. Never lost touch with him. You know, we, we are now like a family. You can see how he lives with all members of the EFF. That's the style of leadership. When he is with you, you are part of his family. And that I believe in it. I have seen him live. Mm -hmm. And people live there that doesn't, doesn't believe in that. I don't know where they will live. Because the president is the son of the soil. And if you look how he was raised, yeah. he, the, the reason why he embraced everybody is only the son. Mm -hmm. And that thing has built him where he is today. Mm -hmm. And I'm proud myself. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I say, even the time when I joined the EFF, I was supposed to be joining it long ago. Okay. But you see, I, I wanted just to understand where I'm mm -hmm. going. Mm -hmm. Before I came into the EFF, I just came, came in. I made it sure that I go through all the policies mm -hmm. and other issues to make sure that when I learned, I learned very well. And again, I never left the ANC as if I'm hating people. Before I left, I have delivered a branch to become, and I delivered a counselor, right? I'm the first. Even the ANC never said it. Mm. I was the first to win a award in town, in the whole of the province. And as I speak right now, yes, Mene Mene Otegel, that branch will belong to EFF, busy now on the ground to make sure that we take over. Mm -hmm. That's what I've done before I leave. If I left them, I didn't like Barca Sosoto, Arinye Lidi Diba. I left them very well. After three months, then I left. Mm -hmm. Now I've started a new life. I'm very much fulfilled, especially with the ideas of the organization. Mm -hmm. yeah. Are you proud of the leadership or the leader that CIC has become? And would you confidently say without fear or favor that you have politically uh, groomed him or contributed towards his uh, political consciousness? The president is the son of many revolutionaries and visionary leaders. Mm -hmm. You know, when you look at him, when he speaks, there are many people coming out of him. Mm -hmm. You can see that was the person who was listening. To date, when he, at the age of 43, you can think that he's been in politics for more than 60 years. Mm -hmm. The level of his thinking, the level of articulation of issues, the analysis of issues, I shame. Mm -hmm. Hi, no, he doesn't study it now. Yeah. He was young. He, he became... always says that he's got an experience of a six year old. Yeah, no, food. I believe that. <laughs> I can believe that because, yeah. you know, he became the president at mm -hmm. the young age. When he was leading courses, mm -hmm. when he speaks, you can hear that, hey, yeah. yeah, really, at that age. Mm. Now, that is Julius Malema for yeah. you. And we're saying, you know, people, I don't know, they want God to come to earth and tell them that we've got a leader here. And if people are not going to listen, our God is going to punish people. Mm -hmm. People are going to be punished because God will give you a leader, mm -hmm. you undermine that leader. Now, I'm I'm appealing to the people to say this is the only one, mm -hmm. only leader mm -hmm. who can lead South Africa and uh, no one else. Mm -hmm. I don't say I. We have produced an angel for South Africa and God has given us a son, mm -hmm. which I think all of us must agree and give government to him. Mm -hmm. Then we are free. Mm. So, with that said, what uh, informed your decision to join the EFF? I think it was in 2022, during the disbandment of the structures in uh, Limpopo. So you joined in during the time. 
uh, that time, I think it was Dr. Mwisen and those who was deployed there as the convener. Uh, what informed that, that transition from the ANC to the EFF? Were you realizing that now the ANC is dying and now there is this, you know, economic freedom uh, fighters movement that is on the side of the people, which you believe that you should be part of? What, what informed your decision or your transition? There are about three areas which mm -hmm. I think one will touch. Mm -hmm. The first one I, I alluded to, to say, you know, the the ANC mm -hmm. have spoken lies for many years. Mm -hmm. And later, you know, the ANC took, mm -hmm. I, I won't say it's a mistake. They took us to China, you see. And uh, during my stay in 2019 in China, you know, you know, were led by Communist uh, Party of China. Mm -hmm. Professors is them who have been, uh, you know, workshopping us yeah, at that uh, party school and all that. Now, when I came back from China, mm -hmm. the Chinese gave us a lot of uh, documents, books. Mm -hmm. You know, it was in 2019. Mm -hmm. And remember, by that time, my life was not good in the ANC. Much has have been taken to China. I've, I've not taken to China by the will of the leadership in the province. Okay. There were those that were feeling for me mm -hmm. because during that time I was staying at home for more than five, six years. Nobody cared where is that flag, first black mayor, where is that exit mayor. Nobody. Mm. They they left me to die because there, as I know, many mayors died with depression. Mm. And I can say it loudly and clear without any fear. The other issue was they pushed me mm -hmm. to, you know, because that's why I'm sure. I'm, I'm head about the yeah. second one. Mm -hmm. You know, they took me to national office. I was stationed there, shame. Poor people the, the, who, who brought me in, I can't tell their name here. Yeah? Okay. Our, the previous uh, DSG, okay. Mayor Jesse Duarte. Mm -hmm. May his whole rest in peace. Yeah. They are the ones who said, I must come near. There are those that I can't say now they're still alive. Okay. Whether that they can be in problems. <laughs> then they took me to yeah. Northwest. Mm -hmm. Stayed in Northwest. During that time, we were not any. But I didn't have any problem. Mm. The majority of us are not any. And then later on, people started to end. I didn't end. Mm. For the coming six months, even why don't I? But no, you are... A contract might not be renewed. What, what, what. Remember, I'm in my VK, 560 something kilometers from my wife, who was in bed mm. with an operation mm. of the spinal cord. Mm. I didn't have money to come back home. Mm. I have to go and ask many for petrol to come back home. Ish. I came back home. I thought when I came back home, they will think about me. Nobody. Nobody. I said, no, fine. Because the literature that they gave me from China prepared me to land very well in the EFF in 2022. Mm. I never said anything. I just stayed at my home. I read, read my books. Mm. After reading my books, going around the yeah. yard, yeah. Uh, depressed as I was. But why though? Why were they putting you <coughs> in such an, you know, why did they let you go through that excruciating you know, pain? From 2012, mm -hmm. when the president of the EFF was expelled, those who were near the president never enjoyed life. Mm -hmm. Never enjoyed Just life. Outlined. From that time, 2012, until when I left in 2022, life was not good for me. And he said it. He said, don't think that they will like you this I said, because of the love of the organization. Mm. There was no organization. It was individuals. Then I left and joined this said glorious movement with big ideas. And that will save South Africa. And uh, very much comfortable because the kind of politics that we are preaching in the EFF resonate very well with the masses of our people. Mm. Yeah. I can see it. The, the EFF in Limpopo, given a chance now, it will never be Limpopo again because I know where I'm seated now. Yeah. The majority of people without me calling them, they have already lined up to join the EFF. Mm -hmm. They've seen that this sellout 
of, of Ramaphosa, the ANC will never rise again. Mm -hmm. yes. And the EFF leadership now has entrusted you with the responsibility to sort of, sort of revive uh, Limpopo, uh, consolidate the ground uh, towards uh, socialist power. We have just had uh, recent appointments of the ANC, uh, rather Limpopo Executive Council. We have new MECs. Uh, do you have any confidence at all in this um, newly appointed leadership? And what would be the plan of the EFF to sort of try and show the people of Limpopo that the EFF, whether it is in power or not, it will be within its position, be able to turn things around? Yep, indeed, uh, we we are ready as the EFF, mm -hmm. especially with the motions that will be submitted to the legislature, mm -hmm. not only to the legislature, in all the municipalities where the EFF mm -hmm. is represented. Mm -hmm. Motions of making sure that we address the issue of unemployment. Mm -hmm. you now, first, we need to make sure that all security companies must go and uh, let the government appoint people, mm -hmm. and also any work that is related to a building of roads, building of houses. We've got the majority of our students who are qualified in road construction, in water and sanitation. Mm -hmm. Just to, to give you an example, before I was uh, recalled as an executive mayor because of my love to the president of the EFF, mm -hmm. uh, I had a database. Okay. Well, in this database, I make sure that those that have uh, went for water and sanitation grouped so that in the next final you know if they left me there i was going to face out certain portion of money for for tenders mm -hmm. and make sure that those students that have done water and sanitation mm -hmm. are absorbed into the system mm -hmm. and remember if you can absorb these uh, students in every department mm -hmm. lawyers you gather them mm -hmm. and those who wrote inst uh, instruct and you pay them they get benefits mm -hmm. like any other worker. Mm -hmm. Then giving money to an individual who will go and buy for pie and other things. Mm -hmm. Now, those things I've done. Them. Soft life. Yeah. Those mm -hmm. things I was starting to do them. Whilst I was still in the NC, they realized one day when I was in Capricorn Radio with Tabu Sokotani, mm -hmm. you know, where I said, now we're going to do things in this fashion. And when I went out of the station, Somebody called me that you are killing our businesses. Mm. Are you saying you are going to employ those children and uh, do uh, roads construction and build houses? Mm. We are no longer going to build RDB houses. Do you think the ANC will have money? Mm. I said, oh, I've touched it. Damn. Now when I came into the EFF, ah, that's the home of that language that I was saying. And I think... In sourcing. In sourcing. Mm -hmm. And even when we go to parliament, uh, to legislature, our first emotions, mm -hmm. all in the municipalities and in the legislature, they must in source. Simple. To reduce unemployment. Mm -hmm. That is all that we'll be doing. Yeah. We'll push the agenda of the EFF. The manifesto of EFF is going to find its expression in every council, mm. in all mm. the council in Limpopo, yeah. in the legislature, they will never slip. If the kind of people that have been appointed there, they've been appointed on factional basis, not because of merit, then we'll meet at the legislature. Mm -hmm. They will be accountable. Yeah. And we know that uh, the previous premier, I don't know, he was not coming to work. <laughs> I don't know if he was drinking or smoking what, but yeah. he was not coming. And I yeah. told the current one to say, if you are not here, you'll find us here. Mm -hmm. And we'll lead on your behalf. Yeah. And people shouldn't think that the EFF is small with nine seats. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're going to hear our voice and people will be listening to us. Mm -hmm. But by its all, they say, we're enough with the ANC. Yeah. Yeah. And the only hope is the EFF. Yeah. And fortunate enough, we are still alive uh, a fighter, mm -hmm. and uh, most of the people knows where we are coming from. They know us. Mm -hmm. uh, they know right. Mm -hmm. They won't lie, never lie. Now they've got proof mm -hmm. of what happened. On the fourteenth is when the ANC sold out and signed out to say power is given to back to the monopoly capital. Will never mm -hmm. the ANC will never rise again. Believe mm -hmm. me.
Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I think uh, Limpopo accounts for over 6 million, if I'm not mistaken, Six population. population. Yeah, and when you look at the unemployment rate, it stands somewhere around 30.8%, uh, which is shocking. And uh, surely the EFF, as the economic emancipation movement, will see it will see to it that there is uh, employment for especially the young ones. Ah, but we started home. Mm-hmm. We're not all just going to do vingi vingi. Eh. <laughs> no, it's enough. Yeah. Our people have been voting for us. Mm-hmm. Let me give you an example. We'll go to Ward 18 and make sure that schools in Ward 18 are well. We'll make sure that each and every area where people are voting for the EFF oh, yes. are going to benefit. Mm-hmm. Not no more. If you call me, and you say, hey, when I go private school, they are they are going to be eh eh. They believe for hotel abana bali. Now I'm going to an us. area <laughs> yeah. where I know I've got stats. They are going to tell us that this area they've been voting for the EFF will take services there. Here I honor hey, it will never work. We have been abused, heavily abused here, because of our good hearts. The EFF have been abused, and they will feel it. The bata beba duma. Back at next door. All where mm. we are leading, we are going to make sure that even if there are three, we'll take all the resources there. We'll create a city in that world. Mm. We are not going to be shaken by people who sold us out. They want us when they are crying. When they buy Japoto or that, they don't call us. We are not going to work like that. Mm. We are not stupid. We are going to serve people who serve us, who, who voted, and we know them. We've got stats. They will see it when it happened to those branches to say, indeed, the EFF is not mad. They thought we are mad. That's what we're doing. Now they, they've beaten us. Yeah. We just have to go with this Nkunana, yeah. Rose over our own people. Yeah. Because more than that, we'll never have fingers. Yeah. Now we, we are enough. <laughs> Uh, we are, uh, enough is enough. Enough is enough. Our people are looking for good things. They are voting for us. That is our focus. Mm-hmm. Those that will follow this ANC and the DA, this government of National U10 is mm-hmm. going nowhere. Yeah. They must follow the EF. But yeah. because they know the truth. Mm-hmm. You see? And loyalty must be serviced. Yeah, absolutely. Till now we are going to serve our people. Mm-hmm. That one I am not going to. In Limpopo, they must know. We're going to serve our people. Mm-hmm. Yes, there are vulnerable people like disabled, you know, disabled people, like uh, the elderly people, Baba yeah. Then they go and make mm-hmm. sure that if they want to vote EFF, she doesn't go. We're going to those that are vulnerable and all that, yes. Mm-hmm. Now we know. Mm-hmm. And I think we'll take care of them. But yeah. we'll take care of them. Mm-hmm. Those that are working, mm-hmm. 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 Oh, we are not mad. Mm. God will punish us yeah. because we assist them to go and die. Yeah. Let's take care of those that have voted for us. Mm-hmm. We've got stats each and every voting station. If it's a voting station, that voting station is going to benefit mm-hmm. from what the EFF will yeah. be doing. I mean, just after the elections, the Pulukwani municipality just switched off electricity into Shiho, and now we are back to, they just changed the terms. It's no longer load chain, they call it load reduction. <laughs> so the people must really see for it that what they voted for is not actually, uh, you know, something progressive or something to rejoice because if they, for example, the EFF continues uh giving people boreholes, even though they didn't vote for them. They won't see the difference. They won't feel uh, uh, the impact of, uh, you know, the lack of service delivered from the people that they voted for. So I think that's the good uh, way to go. We told them. Mm-hmm. Immediately when they started to close and block their cars not to buy electricity, they started to call us. Mm. And we know them. We it didn't take no. time. It didn't even take a time. <laughs> the following day, yeah. during the elections day, mm-hmm. uh, they, they, they cancelled all the EPWP. Yeah? Oh yes, I think I EPWP, saw that. EPWP, yeah. I say, oh, but mm-hmm. Yeah, I think yeah. was it the Sikukuna district municipality? It's not only there; they're yeah. doing it silently. Oh. They will. They're going no more EPWP because in Poloko and that Mpie of yours, the mayor, have eaten the money. <laughs> There's no more money. Yeah. The money was taking it to election campaigns of the ANC mm-hmm. and buying bullets to go and shoot our people in Jujuvade. Mm. That's nothing. Mm. The ANC is dead, guys. Yeah. The same man, he was my, my manager in the office. 
the same shit. <laughs> you can't tell me about him. Yeah. He was my ice boy. Yeah. Mm. He was my ice boy. Let me put it clear. The executive mayor of Puluko. Yes, he was my <laughs> ice boy. Yeah. Hey, go and take ice there. He will run. Mm. Today, yes. Can you take an ice boy and make him a, a mayor? Mm. Huh? Yeah, shocking indeed. Let, you can see now yeah. what happened in the legislature. I don't like to talk about them, but you are going to see my why. Somebody in New York. Oh, the former DG of Edeco. <laughs> now today, which yeah. repairs, is having mm -hmm. a pass in yeah. finance of Limpopo. Mm -hmm. Who 118, I, I, can you sell land in New York? Yeah? <laughs> Do you see Romero <laughs> Lutheran in the ANC? They send a person who, who doesn't know that this, you can't buy land in the Western uh, uh, Which countries. was never occupied, by the way. Yeah. Now, what, what do you think? Fruitless expenditure. But they don't fire him. <laughs> they promote him. Yeah. To say, go and sell fake land. Mm. It's, what are they going to do? So the public purse of the people of Limpopo it's is not from, safe. From know. one day one. Mm. But he, we've got him. Yeah. He will account. Mm -hmm. He will run away. More than that, they must change him. Yeah. Because we are going to make noise. To say what's 118 million, yeah. Million. Mm -hmm. If you pay it back. Mm. Yeah, that that's the that, that would be very interesting. They to must see. go and tell us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're not going to sit with the person who, who took out hundred. It's our money. It's a taxpayer's money. We must get a report from the premier mm -hmm. and to say the 118 million, which was a fruitless expenditure in yeah. New York, America. He refunded it. Mm -hmm. And that money could have been channeled to mm -hmm. issues of water, issues of roads in Limpopo. 18 million. If he can bring it with him, then children will go to school free mm -hmm. of charge. That's what we need. Yeah. That man must go and account in Limpopo before and tell us where it's 118. Did he pay it back or what? Mm -hmm. Because we are not going to work with somebody that we know is a, is a thug. Yeah. And we leave him there. Mm. I don't think that money it went to the people he was working with. He's saving a share. Oh, what He's saving they call a share. kickbacks. I mean, <laughs> you do it deliberately. What's about in America, you can't buy land. Mm -hmm. You are not allowed to buy land, but you say you are going to buy land. And you say you are educated. Or, you know, yeah? <laughs> and you know the politics of the country. The reason why you live about Cheba, which I can't take because they know Talifile. This man is Talifile. He stole this 118. Gamina Gawena, there's nothing. Yo. He was not fooled. Yeah. He knows where it's 118. He must go and tell us. So you think uh, the new premier, the first female premier of Limpopo, Dr. Popera Matuba, has blundered in assembling uh, her executive? No, she's not doing that for on her own, chef. She's been somebody, I told you earlier to say, <laughs> somebody's in the office. He's a stage in the office. He doesn't want to go out. He's there. He's telling her what to do. Not only that, I want her. That it, all these men are, who surrounded you, ha, ah, you're going to be corrupt. You'll see. I'm not prophesied, but I know all of them surrounding him, those that never benefited are facts like those that are remaining. Yeah. Baba Land, they're crying now to say our people who are not put playing well there. I know of three. Chairpersons who are crying now. And okay. uh, believe me, that lady, she can enjoy. I feel pity for her. Do you see her finishing her term as hey. a premier? You know, they speak of two centers of fire. The other of the, these chairpersons wants to become the chairperson of the province. She thinks she's just going to walk like Joey <laughs> in the park and get the chair. It's not going to be easy for her. The ANC is dead. They are fighting for, for food, no longer making sure that our people are liberated. Economic freedom in our lifetime will never be realized within the ANC. The lady, she can't lead. Because I don't undermine, because it's a woman, mm -hmm. because of the people who have surrounded her, the kind of team that they have appointed for her, it is unfortunate. If she appointed, it might be one, not more than two. Mm. I say it now, without fear or favor. If she appointed, they can't be more than two. The rest, I don't think she, if she was well, she can go and appoint my wife. <laughs> she can't do that. She can't do that. 
She was not going to do that. You know, I don't believe that. Mm -hmm. And I said it earlier to say, you know, when you deploy, you must be able to be clever enough and be able to know or not fight a titus, even if he didn't go to school. But what exactly can he perform to the best of his ability? To qualities. Qualities. Now, I don't see quality there. Mm. We are trembling as people of Limpopo. We mm. don't know. This is our Things are bad. Mm. And the people of South Africa are in. You know, the, everything is collapsing, people. This one sleeping with the, his uh, mentors because he was mentored by, by whites. <laughs> no, no, I, no one can tell me. He was mentored by whites mm. from an early age. Mm. Mm. I don't say his father because he was a policeman. Yeah, because his father was a policeman. Yeah. He, he had proxy to say, let your son become a sellout. Mm, mm. Whether he liked it or not, we are seeing yeah. him as a sellout. People of South Africa are angry. Members of the ANC are resigning mm -hmm. in masses as I so, speak. Yeah. So you strongly believe that the outgone premier of Limpopo, uh, Sten Matabata, still has got influence in the politics of uh, Limpopo and yeah. also the executive of no, the Limpopo there. government? He's still there. He's still with Popey. She, he, she can't take a decision without Matabata. Mm. But now they say, oh, like I'm saying, this the people of Ubum of power. Mm -hmm. those that were <laughs> aiming to be MECs, they don't know what to do. Everybody wanted to become MEC. Mm. Now, the chairperson that I alluded to, their people didn't be, uh, you know, be deployed. Yeah. They are left outside. Mm. And in now, the cold. Hey, in the cold, and then now they've been used to chow. Mm. Others, when we had the first sitting to elect the speaker, somebody was wearing a suit yeah, with tie. To say, I told my wife to say, I'm going to be the speaker today. Yes, sir. When he arrived, they say, hey, hey, speaker, I'm sorry. <laughs> he has no problems, man. You know, yeah. people were crying for us. As if I'm, I'm a leader of the ANC. I'm a leader of the EFF. Mm -hmm. But they come here yeah. and cry. And I feel for them. Mm -hmm. But the only thing that they must do, come home. Yeah. I've been telling you, come home to the EFF. And they'll be coming, fighter. Mm -hmm. mm. And this thing called uh, GNU is more likely to, by extension, to expand to local government. Um, you understand that the ANC now is in bed with the <coughs> DA, with their coalition. Now, it is expected, or rather there are talks that it might uh, lead into uh, local government. And uh, we have local government elections in 2026. So now, what will be the EFF's plan to sort of nip this nonsensical uh, GNU, uh, if you like, the elect pact, to ensure that the interest of the people uh, is put forward and actually the poor and the marginalized are catered for? Firstly, after the establishment of this government of National U10, <laughs> they, they, they came up with a, a position to say we must go back to the people. Mm -hmm. Firstly, just to establish that this government of national unity is undemocratic. Mm. It's undemocratic. Where did they get a mandate to go and fall into... Uh, they were supposed to call for the National General Council Call all branches, tell us. This is a predicament. The voters have dictated this to us. Mm. And I don't think they can go and do it at the local level. The outcome of 2026 will never favor the ANC. Never. They will never. That arrangement is the last arrangement after 30 years. Mm -hmm. And it will never repeat itself again. By that time, remember... Is the EFF our things we look at the generation to come? And next election, most of this generation, they will be leading themselves. Mm -hmm. And I'm certain that the EFF by that time, mm -hmm. uh, it will be leading. Mm -hmm. They will be leading. Yeah. Believe me. Yeah. Now, currently, it's just a, a marriage of, con, uh, of inconveniency mm -hmm. with, the, uh, with the DA and ANC. If they still dream that uh, come 2026, they'll find themselves in the same marriage. No, 
-hmm. the voters will come up. They never expected to be at 40%. Mm -hmm. And I think they can't expect to be below 15% mm -hmm. in 2026 because come 2026, they will never pass by past 20%. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And now you are, you are the chairperson of the EFF in Limpopo, just recently been appointed and uh, you were during the elections, uh, the elections manager. What is your uh, impression of the 2024 general election, particularly looking at the EFF's performance in uh, Limpopo? There are both internal and external challenges. Mm -hmm. I'll start first with the external ones. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the MBD, the IEC, is so even the government, there's an unholy alliance mm -hmm. of the Municipal Demarcation Board. Okay. Every time when there are elections, you know, they make a study. Let me give you an example with what they did in uh, Pulukwan. Mm -hmm. Currently, they need to, you know, cut certain areas which belongs to what they did and take it towards 17. Mm -hmm. Because now they know concentrated power of the EFF uh -huh. in that particular area. Mm -hmm. Again, the stations, the voting stations, mm -hmm. they have been locked in farms. One of the things is that there's no voting station which must be less than 500. Okay. And when you get into that farm, it's a family of a uh, uh, or Meraber. Mm. Meraber and his family and his relative. The workers are only 10. Mm -hmm. Then you tell me that is a voting station. The white supremacy is still in existence within those structures of MBD. That's what they're doing. They create voting stations for Bobasa. Mm. Now, it's an Oranian kind of station that have been established. We have made statistics. As the EFF, as an election manager, I'll be presenting a report mm -hmm. of the outcome of these elections. How skewed are these uh, voting stations? Ah, a voting station with 189 people. Less than 50% go and vote for that. That station is useless, but they're doing it for whites. That's what they're doing. We have made that analogy. Is there. We'll be presenting it to the leadership and make sure that uh, we correct that situation. Mm -hmm. Secondly, the, ex the internal ones, our internal, are weighed in by the external ones. Because where voting stations are very far, our resources are strained. Okay. It's not only us. The study that I made, even the ANC you will never find it. Even if they've stolen money, they're failing to reach those stations. Mm -hmm. It's only zero, zero, zero in terms of party agents and other things. Mm -hmm. Now, the first meeting of the PLC will be presenting as the EFF to do away with any station with less than 500. Mm -hmm. A station with 189 people you can take three or four buses. They are bus to a, a nearer station. Cost effective. When you create a station for 189 population registered, what are you trying to do? Because we have to take a presiding officer and his officers, party agents, material and all that. Money will be less. You hire buses you transport them. That's the position that we're taking to the PLC. Mm -hmm. And also the unholy alliance between the government, the IEC, and the Municipal Demarcation Board. Because we are not going to allow every every term to demarcate. Every term demarcate. This thing must be regulated now. Mm -hmm. And say, we're going to embark on demarcation and get the views of the people mm -hmm. in the coming 10 years mm -hmm. or 15 years. Not every five years or every municipal elections mm -hmm. there's demarcation part, uh, demarcation or delimitation of the boundaries. Mm -hmm. That must stop. And we're going to present that as the EFF and even agitate our people to march against such nonsensical thing. And inclusive of our watch, when all these things are done, they undermine even our chiefs and kings and queens. Mm -hmm. The reason why we said we're going to make sure that we make submissions to the PLC of IEC and change these things. Mm -hmm. The former EFF chairperson in Limpopo, Joseph Butana, seems to have a personal vendetta against the EFF leadership. Do you think his exit from the EFF has got any material or significant impact into the growth or the performance of the party in the province. Oh, it's a shame. 
please, you know, ah, it's shame. I, you know, <laughs> I, I, I fell a man, man. <laughs> you know, I can't talk about my young son who is lost to shame. Mm -hmm. I will never do that. I love Josie too much. He's lost. He's lost to shame. Mm. And, uh, you know, even those that uh, is, uh, is joining, they have joined what we call a cabal. He didn't join the ANC, Josie. He joined the cabal. Josie joined the faction of Mpche. <laughs> this Mpche recruited Josie to his own cabal. Yeah. Now Josie, as I speak, in Fanaka or Kaneri, the man. Fanaka or Kaneri. All of our posts. All of our posts. And no posts is no more there because you yeah. see, we, Magamo. The Jodi Fedili. Now, it is unfortunate because Fanaka is talking too much. He must supposed to be silent and quiet. Mm -hmm. Things will shape up and it will mm. be good. Yeah. He must be quiet. You know, he must leave uh, the EFF alone if, if you want to speak. We can't speak about, we, we can't even speak ill about him. Mm. No. Mm -hmm. we, we, don't, we are not in a business. He's a black child, He needs assistance. Mm -hmm. Now, you can't kill that young man. I'll fight to. Because yeah. if you kill him, shame, man. They just look where in a man. Don't do that. You must wait here. No, I can't allow that. Hey, man. Hey, I can't allow that, man. I love Josie too much. Sure. He's just lost, but he'll come back. <laughs> he'll come back to his senses. He'll come back to his senses. Yeah, I sure. love him so much. Yeah. Mm. So, leadership. We understand that uh, a branch is a basic unit of the organization. We have a task now to sort of revive and grow the organization in Limpo. But what, what will be the work of the organization at hand uh, to ensure that the organization grows uh, in a bottom-up approach? We are going to align mm -hmm. the work of the legislature, the work of the council, mm -hmm. with the work of the movement. Mm -hmm. There must be a synergy. All the programs of the movement mm -hmm. or the challenges of the movement must speak to the work of the legislature. What I'm trying to imply here mm -hmm. is that we will be having our own oversight visit, mm -hmm. okay? And having our own over, oversight visit will be making submissions to the legislature. Mm -hmm. Again, what we'll be doing we strengthen our branches through the projects and programs that have failed. Uh -huh. We're going to appoint full-time staff. Mm -hmm. Things will never be the same in the EFF. We're going to create a lot of uh, organizational posts, starting with organizing. Okay. Constituency offices must all be covered and make sure that each and every branch with its own program of action its own membership is monitored by full-time personnel. The branch is the nuclear of the movement. If we are not going to take care of the branches, we will never exist. Mm -hmm. Fortunately enough, some of us have been organizers for more than 30 years. We are still alive. Mm -hmm. We want to leave legacy in the EFF mm -hmm. and make sure that we, we train the mm -hmm. future generation to build this movement. Mm -hmm. Yeah, And... Uh when we look at um, the EFF, it has been growing very well, uh, qualitatively, uh, over the past years. Now, what will be different now with your leadership and that of your predecessors? What will be unique in your leadership? Uh, you see, I would say I'll be banking much on my experience. Mm -hmm. And my experience, when I look at it, I'm one person who work with the collective. Mm -hmm. That's number one. That's, I think that is my strongest point. I don't impose. Secondly, I'm a kind of a consultative person. Mm -hmm. All the organs of people's power, which are in Limpopo, I'm not new to them. Okay. All organs of people's power are going to have a program of action to have a dialogue with them. Mm -hmm. The main issue in that dialogue will be saying we are at the crossroad. Mm -hmm. Or we are, we are at the cul-de-sac. Now, those organs of people's power must be
be able to assist us as the EFF. If we have made mistakes, they must tell us and say, the way you are operating, we don't like. Mm -hmm. We need you to do like this. Each and every organ will be visited and get their views. And later on, we meet as mm -hmm. branches of the movement and mm -hmm. strength and understand and analyze what we have gathered and be able to make a submission to our leadership to say, in Limpopo, Mawoshi are worried about our oh, behavior yeah. in this. Mangaka, they are worried about on this. Uh, the teachers, Satu, is, is, is because of this. We are going to embark on that journey. We are going to be opening up on ourselves. As long as the EF can open up, people won't come in. Now we're going to them and open up. They will tell us where are our weaknesses mm -hmm. in Limpopo, where they can be able to contribute for the growth of this organization at the level of the branches. Mm -hmm. Yep. And uh, that will set the tone for yep. the upcoming uh, elections, be it 2026 yep. and uh, 2029. But now, as we wind down this uh, conversation, people may be interested in, in knowing that perhaps Limpopo, things have not been going well. Are you at liberty to talk us through some of the loopholes that perhaps the EFF may not have been able to uh, capitalize on uh, over the past with its uh, past leadership? You know, gatekeeping was the problem in the EFF. Nothing else. People loved the EFF and there were leaders who closed every gate because they fear that uh, those that are coming in, uh, they're suffering from inferiority complex. When they see fighter Titus coming in with his knowledge with media, uh, they close the gate. Mm. That thing will never happen again. Uh, not under your leadership? Not under me, no faction. Yesterday I was meeting with the staff, telling them that you are activists in this office, Anyone who really will be tasting a high voltage with your tongue, come with functional tendencies in this office. Even in the branches of the movement, people must know how to take care of one another and make sure that we grow this organization. Mm -hmm. And nothing else, nothing more. Basically, our work will be found at the level of the branch. Mm -hmm. Nothing at the sub region. Mm -hmm. Every leader who is a leader of the EFF, any fighter, must go to the ground, and above all, our leaders must learn to love our fighters. Mm -hmm. And it's our there leaders, in the constitution of yeah, the EFF. Our, yeah. They must learn to love our people. Mm -hmm. You know, fighters, they need nothing. They don't need tenders. They need only leaders to be nearer to them mm -hmm. and advise where possible. But when you are at a distance, calling them, you think that you're talking to them one hour on the phone, mm -hmm. you have a, a service, the branch. We are not going to have such people in our midst. Those that who think they will operate like that, mm -hmm. bring your resignation letter. I'm ready to receive it. Mm -hmm. Not in my term. We still have a very serious problem. We must go all out and have a dialogue with our people about the outcome of this election mm -hmm. and what they want to see in the EFF. Mm -hmm. Simple as that one. Yeah, And you have a fond relationship with uh, Mahoshi. Can you just talk to us about the role that you'll be playing to ensure that there's this synergy between the uh, traditional leadership as well as the the, the, the the leaders of the EFF in, the, in Limpopo? We, we have already started, and I mm -hmm. think uh, the only place that we still need to go in is the organized uh, entities like Contralers. Okay. <clears throat> but uh, we are in good uh, relationship with the newly founded one, Rolesa. It's very difficult to penetrate Contralesa. Mm -hmm. But I know what is the problem. I respect uh, my parangu. I can't say it now. Mm -hmm. I'll say it when I'm with them because I'm still going to meet them. But we have made inroads mm -hmm. around Skukun and other areas like uh, Capricorn. We have made some inroads like in Bembe. There are chiefs that are waiting to be met. They are ready to join, mm -hmm. especially now. Mm -hmm. And uh, the inroads that I've done, they are not study now. I've started meeting the chiefs as early as 1991. Okay. 
Now, the relationship between myself and the house of uh, the Royal Houses, it's, it's, it's a long-standing one. And uh, fortunate enough, even if they have problems with the ANC, they call me. And I'll tell them what to do to join the EFF. Mm -hmm. Because they joined during my term, I was making them to join the ANC. Mm -hmm. Now, currently also they can join the EFF. And it's what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. I don't like them to be shy. They, they must join the EFF with that oomph as they've been joining these tax. Now the ANC is gone. Mm -hmm. They will never get any land. The only hope is in the EFF. Mm -hmm. Nothing else. Yeah. yeah. And uh, we really appreciate uh, uh, Commissar Lawrence Mapulu. Kana, what's the, your African name again? Ma Ma Mahabo Omsatan. Ma oh, Mahabo. <coughs> okay, what does it mean though? Mahabo is... Uh, it's a, it's, a, it's a name, you know, Khabo, not Khabo, a monkey. Flame. Flame. Yeah. Oh. When you see me, you there's, see there's, there's no There's no f smoke without fire. Yeah, kind of vibes. fire. There. <laughs> there must be fire. <laughs> okay, no, we, we really appreciate the fire. We can feel <clears throat> the flames that you are going to engulf Limpopo with, uh, with the style of leadership that you've just presented. And we really appreciate the food for thought. And uh, the fighters now know where uh, Limpopo stands um, organizationally. We have the best amongst the best in terms of the leadership that has been assembled. And the leadership has uh, entrusted you uh, uh, as the chairperson to lead uh, Limpopo. And we are really wishing you all the best, uh, chairperson. And uh, we will support you. Uh, hence, we have you now on the EFF podcast so that you announce your your plans and we really wish you all the best and we appreciate your words of wisdom. Uh, we're drinking from your well and uh, appreciating the, the wisdom that you bring, the wealth of knowledge that you bring into the organization. So thank you very much for coming through and joining us here on the EFF podcast. Thank you very much. May God bless Africa in the leadership of the EFF. Mm -hmm. Thanks. And uh, song of the day? Oh, Pepe. Oh, Pepe. <laughs> That's a nice Why the song, song though? <laughs> hey, I love it so much. Yeah. I don't yeah. know, but I just... Yeah. Uh, it's a volume three, eh? Yeah, volume three. No, it oh, sounds but... very revolutionary. Oh, hey, I like that one. Yeah, it takes you it, back wife, in the days. <laughs> she knows my wife every morning I'll play it before I go to bed. <laughs> okay. No, that's that's very nice. And play my hands like this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no leadership. Thank you very much no, uh, thank for coming you for uh, And uh, you are doing a very good work uh, for the movement. Mm -hmm. I need to say it here yeah, that... Uh, you know, they are looking at you, these other copycats. <laughs> uh, if they can do something like this, we are going to tell them that uh, you are copycats. You yeah. see our fire truck <laughs> doing this. But thank you very much yeah. for the good work that you are doing for the movement. Mm -hmm. Thank you. May no, God bless you. Thank you very much. I Thanks. really appreciate that. Thanks. And thank you very much, the people of South Africa, Africa and the world for tuning in. And Tate Mapolo joined us here on the EFF podcast. Is the commissar, the chairperson of the EFF in Limpopo, announcing his plan of action. Aouko uh, 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 heads are going to roll. He's going to make sure that the EFF is built from, um, you know, the branch level all the way to the top, uh, gearing up for 2026 and ultimately 2029 elections. So we're signing out, uh, as you can hear in the background, Upepela from EFF Jazz Hour Volume 3. And uh, yeah, we've come to the end of the show. Please continue liking and subscribing to the EFF YouTube channel. My name is Titus Tsungur Kotsera Msengo Natsualeka. Until we meet again, good day. Go and get Kanimam. Oh,